What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. Now, Sykes away in three days, but as you guys can tell, we're in Stansted Airport already. We're on our way to Amsterdam. And seeing as we got Ajax away, I thought might as well make a week of it. It's Amsterdam, the weather's probably better than it is here. It's a beautiful city as well, and the flavors are fucking hard. So, just about heading to fucking arrival, so see you guys in Amsterdam. See, one of the reasons why I like traveling this so much is that it barely takes any time to get down here. It's like a 50 minute flight. So honestly, half the away days I do this season take double the time that it even gets to get to Amsterdam. Like for example, after this is Burnley away. Burnley away is probably the longest away day of the season. It's like two, three times as long as it takes to get down to Amsterdam. This is why I always show up. It's only 50 minutes and you're only in the air for 20. But yeah, we touched down all right. Just need to get our bags and head down to our hotel and then we can go and check out Amsterdam. Let's go. The whole setup is nice, this bed is comfy, the lighting's good, we're like 10-15 minutes away from the Amsterdam Marina so this whole place is set up perfectly for our week. But it's also like 9.30 we're still trying to enjoy our night out here in Amsterdam. I think Lawrence is in Central, we're not sure, we're trying to get into contact with him. But if he is, probably going to head down, chill in the coffee shop, try to catch the end of the Arsenal game. Now we have left it a little bit late but... There's still plenty of time. The coffee shops don't close till 1 a.m. So let's head down to Central now and let's try and enjoy tonight. Let's go. Chinos, what are you saying? Uh, I'm good. How about you? I really well, understand why you're outside now. You're damn right. How was your trip? Uh, it was good. I mean, 40 minutes by uh, by plane is pretty much good, right? Yeah, I was saying it's better than like half of the away days we do. I mean, it's better than six hours for Leo, you know. So, frankly speaking. Yeah, man, I got you a nice little welcoming present here. This is for oh, you. Oh no, no no no! I I know that's not a good idea. Do you know? It's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> By the way, Lawrence here too. I, Lawrence, no. what are you saying? Hello. How are you? I'm, yes, I'm Gas. I'm Gas. Is this the start to your vlog now? Will you record a, like an intro after? Nah, this is like before. Oh no, he this started is, when like when we said like you know basically breaking the secrets of all the vlogs. Yeah, yeah this is like pre-match shit. But yeah, take your present. No, no, I'm good. I, I know what this is. Sammy told me not to trust you. Yeah, really nice. What? Really? Fuck Sammy him. baited us. What? Sammy and Ben slated you. Told me not to trust him. At Why? All. all right. Because. <laughs> but did he tell you not to trust me? Do you know what this is? Mm, no. Fine. There you go. But the thing is, is that I know these sorts of things. I know what could be inside. Yeah, but could you have to try and find out? I'm not going to try. Trust me. I'm good. Thanks. Okay, where's the magic hat? He could have sung for us all. Hey, he said no fuck that. He passes with his left foot. He passes with his right. And when we win the league again, we'll sing this song all night. Oh, Africa's his magic. He wears the magic hat.
A few moments later. Hi Lawrence, where the f is your mate taking us? I, have no what so the now, hell? I tell you something. Never trust the Estivos or Chinos or any of those people. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking we dangerous. have no clue. Cyclists, cyclists everywhere. Yeah. This isn't good. Bad bikes. <laughs> cyclists, cyclists. Bikers, bikers hey, we got the same thing with Boris bikes though. Where's he gone? Yeah. Now he's disappeared. We don't know where he is. Yeah, have we lost your mate Steve, now? Steve, you put. <laughs> where's the chinos? Where's the chinos? <laughs> chinos. <laughs> oh, where's Alex gone? Where's the chinos gone? Where's the chinos gone? This is like scary movie all over again. Oh my god, there's chinos. Like scary. Oh For fuck's sake, man. No, he's not. Tomorrow. Right guys, so it's match day, it's Ajax versus Chelsea, the pre-match buzz is really starting to kick in now and we're on our way to go and collect our tickets, it's 12.30 right now, we need to head into Amsterdam Central, collect our tickets, head into Dam Square afterwards because I think that's where the Chelsea fans are going to be and then after that we're heading back here to the Amsterdam Marina because we're living like five minutes away. We're heading straight down to the Amsterdam Marina where hopefully we get the three points. It's apparently the first time Chelsea and Ajax have ever faced off in European competition against each other. So history's been broken today, but I'm buzzing for many different reasons. We just need to head down and collect our tickets because we're already running a little bit late. The 6.55 kickoff is bugging me and it's bugging everybody else. But yeah, I'm rambling again, so. Let's head down to Amsterdam, let's collect our tickets and let's enjoy the day. Up the Charles. Alright, so we just collected our tickets now. We're deep in Amsterdam Central. Let's head off to the Chelsea fans. Right, we just left Susie's saloon with all the Chelsea fans. I'm here with Alex, Lawrence. Guys, how are you feeling about today? <laughs> well, it depends. A lot depends on the lineup, obviously. Mm. Um, but yeah, I said in my preview, I'm going for a two-all draw. Yeah, both teams are going to score. There's yeah. going to be goals in it yeah. today. I take a two-all draw. Of course, if we can win, great. Yeah. We're down. Yeah, because you bring it to the home leg, and we've got yeah. the advantage. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. again, you've got fans. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. Well, Alex, I mean, the you? thing is, is that it's um, it's much sweeter if we actually win this game. Because it, it brings in the bragging rights in a way. So, bragging rights? Yeah, in a oh, way. Because the thing is, is that I actually very well against, you know, Valencia and Lille. But if yeah. we win against them, then it shows that we can actually do very well in this competition. Yeah, and we still need to make a name for ourselves because exactly. we lose to Valencia in the first game. But as Lauren said, it depends on the lineup, really. Um, my only concern is that we're only going to have we're not going to have any centre-backs on the bench because mm, yeah. we only have Tamora and Zuma that's travelled as the centre-backs. Maybe Aspie? I don't know. Right, that's quick my score prediction? 2-1. Two, one. Two, like one Chelsea? Yep. Well, watch out for the yep. bike. 2-1 right, Chelsea, alright. Yep. Heading off down to the ground. We'll see you lot at the Ajax Arena. See you in a bit. Stay! 
In my teens, it seemed that this was all a dream Every day I'm with my team, we sit with each other and scheme Puffing on the green and we cannot be getting seen Stick to the regime, cause this is in my bloodstream In my teens, it seemed that this was all a dream Every day I'm with my team, we sit with each other and scheme Puffing on the green and we cannot be getting seen Stick to the regime, cause this is in my bloodstream, yeah They're like, what's Gucci? Everything cool right now, I'm still grafting Gotta put in that work to the day when I'll be the last one laughing Shot in green at my 1-6 golf, even when I'm out in the cold Still drop a mad 16 to the man, them, that shit never gets old Like Santan, I will never dead, no beef Try dead beef, get a box in the teeth with deal double D's Got a box of the week, got shots to feed, but let's burn some green Bars burn just like third degree, gonna stack P when I get my degree come
Right, so it's half time, it's still nil nil. Both teams have had plenty of chance. I'd say Ajax have been the more threatening going forward, but I think there's only been one save that's been made today, which says a lot about the quality of the shots that have been taken. We've missed a lot of chances. Kalamazza has always done really to get himself into a lot of good positions, but he needs to be finishing a couple of those chances. He could have had two, three goals already in this first half. But our play's been pretty good, it's just been the final end product that we've been lacking on. Defensively, we've been caught out once or twice, but for the most part, we've been all right, so there's been no complaints. Second half, we really just need to be more clinical in the final third. If we get that part of our game sorted, we'll win this, because right now we've been doing everything great up to that point. It's all about the final finish. Let's see what happens in the second half. Up the Chelsea.
fucking done now. Oh shit, they got another chance. Yes! Chelsea! Mishi's goal has literally killed me. I'm walking with a fucking limp right now. Fell down a good two, three, four flights of stairs, but I don't care. We've won another away day. It's six wins on the bounce. Like, subscribe. We'll see you on Saturday. Up the Chels. Right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you lot enjoyed this match day vlog. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to Blues TV. Don't forget to check out my personal channel, Carefree Lewis G, as well. Uh, Lawrence is walking down here because he's got something he needs to promote, too. Gino's, Gino's. Oh, he's but follow me Gino's. on Twitter and Instagram. It's edlaus1507. Yep, Laos1507. Alex, I know you want to promote your shit. Yeah, make sure he follows me and my vlog as well at CFC Alex. All right? Don't forget that Laos1507, CFC Alex, Carefree Lewis G. Check out all of our socials and we'll see you on Saturday for Burnley away. Let's make it 7 out of 7. Up the Chels.